Listen to a statement like this. I'm interested in learning new skills. Agree with the statement using so am I or neither am I like this. So am I. Listen to another example. I'm not good at organizing my time. Neither am I. Ready. One. I'm good at learning languages. So am I. Two. I'm not interested in traveling on business. Neither am I. Three. I'm not good at working under pressure. Neither am I. Four. I'm good at selling. So am I. Five. I'm interested in getting rich. So am I. Six. I'm not interested in being famous. Neither am I. Listen to a statement like this. I enjoy meeting new people. Agree with the statement using so or neither like this. So do I. Listen to another example. I can't stand sitting in meetings. Neither can I. Ready. One. I don't enjoy working under pressure. Neither do I. Two. I hate writing reports. So do I. Three. I can't stand working on weekends. Neither can I. Four. I don't like commuting. Neither do I. Five. I enjoy learning new skills. So do I. Six. I don't mind making coffee for the office. Neither do I. Seven. I like doing a lot of different things every day. So do I. Eight. I can't stand eating at my desk. Neither can I. Listen to a word or phrase describing an activity. Then ask people if they are good at doing this activity. Like this. Typing. Are you good at typing? Then you will hear an answer. Respond with, so am I, or neither am I. Listen again. Typing. Are you good at typing? No, not really. Neither am I. Listen to another example. Using a computer. Are you good at using a computer? Yes, pretty good. So am I. Ready. One. Writing reports. Are you good at writing reports? No, I'm not. Neither am I. Two. Socializing. Are you good at socializing? Uh-huh. So am I. Three. Learning languages. Are you good at learning languages? Yes, so-so. So am I. Four. Organizing your time. Are you good at organizing your time? No, not really. 
Neither am I. 5. Working under pressure. Are you good at working under pressure? No, I'm not. Neither am I. 6. Selling. Are you good at selling? Yes, I am. So am I. Listen and repeat. Ready. 1. I'm not good at working alone. 2. I'm not good at working alone. 2. I don't mind making coffee. 3. I don't mind making coffee. 3. I can't stand commuting. 4. I can't stand commuting. 4. I don't enjoy talking on the phone. I don't enjoy talking on the phone. 5. I'm not crazy about writing reports. 6. I'm not crazy about writing reports. 6. I can't stand eating lunch at my desk. 7. I can't stand eating lunch at my desk. 7. I'm not good at selling. I'm not good at selling. Listen to a conversation like this. I'm interested in learning Japanese. Really? So am I. Make a statement about the second person like this. She's interested in learning Japanese. Listen to another example. I'm not good at meeting new people. Oh, I am. He's good at meeting new people. Ready. One. I hate commuting. Really? I don't mind it. She doesn't mind commuting. Two. I love traveling on business. Yeah, so do I. He loves traveling on business. 3. I can't stand sitting in meetings. Oh, neither can I. She can't stand sitting in meetings. 4. I don't mind making mistakes. Really? Neither do I. He doesn't mind making mistakes. 5. I'm good at organizing my time. Really? I'm not. She isn't good at organizing her time. 6. I'm not interested in working at home. No, I am. He's interested in working at home. Listen to this conversation. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Five 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 five. 
Now, repeat each sentence. Ready. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Five, 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 five. Listen to a description of someone, like this. Celia's never on time, and she often says she'll do something for you and then she doesn't do it. Then you hear a question about that person, like this. Is Celia serious or unreliable? Answer the question, like this. She's unreliable. Listen again. Celia is never on time, and she often says she'll do something for you and then she doesn't do it. Is Celia serious or unreliable? She's unreliable. Ready. One. Paul loves meeting people, and he really takes an interest in them. He asks a lot of questions and listens to what they say. Is Paul friendly or shy? He's friendly. Two. Maria loves helping people. She lends money to people when they need it, and she always gives presents to friends for their birthday. Is Maria creative or generous? She's generous. Three. Ricardo doesn't like meeting people or talking in front of others. He says it makes him feel uncomfortable so he doesn't enjoy parties very much. Is Ricardo bad-tempered or shy? He's shy. Four. Noriko loves painting, drawing, and sewing, and she designs all her own clothes. Is Noriko creative or efficient? She's creative. Five. My grandfather gets angry so quickly. He just can't relax and take it easy. If anyone says anything he doesn't agree with, he gets upset. He gets angry at the smallest things. Is he bad-tempered or patient? He's bad-tempered. Listen to a question about a possible career, like this. Could I be a teacher? 
Then you hear yes or no and a phrase like this. Yes, very creative. Answer the question like this. Yes, you'd make a good teacher because you're very creative. Listen again. Could I be a teacher? Yes, very creative. Yes, you'd make a good teacher because you're very creative. Listen to another example. Could I be a stockbroker? No, terrible with numbers. No, you wouldn't make a good stockbroker because you're terrible with numbers. Ready. One. Could I be a journalist? Yes, very analytical. Yes, you'd make a good journalist because you're very analytical. Two. Could I be an actor? No. Too forgetful. No, you wouldn't make a good actor because you're too forgetful. Three. Could I be an office manager? No. Too disorganized. No, you wouldn't make a good office manager because you're too disorganized. Four. Could I be a psychotherapist? Yes, very patient. Yes, you'd make a good psychotherapist because you're very patient. Five. Could I be a social worker? Yes. Very helpful. Yes, you'd make a good social worker because you're very helpful. Six. Could I be a doctor? No, not good at science. No, you wouldn't make a good doctor because you're not good at science.